three miles. Like in Arizona, it's like 30 or like 150 <laughs> miles. So we're, we're slightly larger and our, and our flag is a little prettier, but... Um, <laughs> We have. Oh, we that's have. Uh, I don't, I that's, don't e that's denying reality no, no, already. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I, I don't even understand what's going on in the barrel of the flag. <laughs> CPAC is shrinking, and Principles First is growing. Any policy needs to be based on the idea that you know we are failing our police officers. People do not have their own intelligence agencies. This is what media is for. You go check it out. Find out whether it's true, and then deliver the report. Don't send the entire document out there for people to reach their own conclusions. By the it. Americans came out and said, well, we think China's going to provide this aid, and it's going to happen real soon. And the Chinese got this, you know, who, us, look on their face and went, we're not going to do that. Institutions are everything. And if we look at a place like, say, Congress, it's where we negotiate the non-negotiable. It's where we compromise. It's where we channel our disagreements. If we agree, if there is a consensus, we don't need Congress. And it's also staggering because it is. It's so not un, it's anti-American. I know Mike would be outside protesting at the Capitol if the word fuck was banned, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is look at our agenda and know that this is not a circus like some other event happening apparently today. Biden did not have to accept the deal. They completely misunderstood the uh, undermining of the Afghan government that the negotiation of the deal had, uh, uh, had caused. And Biden, in many respects, was the same as Trump. He wanted out and he didn't care uh, what it took. He was the third colleague counterpart in addition to the Romanian and the Polish commanding generals who said they wanted to transform their army. Ukraine was number three. We would make very quick work of the Russian military. It would be it would be a thousand to one casualties because we have invested in the next generation warfighter and training. And the fact that we can do that has made that war even much less likely. So that's why investment in defense is so important. But you know what, this is America. And you deserve and I deserve and every American deserves a better matchup than Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Trump is not ever going to be your president again. Okay, so <laughs> on that. Or, or can we just burn it down in Arizona, at least in Arizona, burn it down? You would see that I'm not always the model of the sandwich. Uh, sometimes it just feels good to be like, no, you're wrong. I think there was nobody better than Joe Biden in that moment in 2020, uh, in that particular field, who was going to beat Donald Trump. All of these Fox News hosts who have espoused the big lie, I know most of them personally, they know it's not true. If I'm the leader of the Chinese government, I'm very happy that Russia is bogged down in Ukraine and the United States is pushing all of their uh, precision weapons to an area of the world that is being used by another country. And then that terrorist attack doesn't materialize. Now, it may in fact be the case that the warning cause that terrorist cell to kind of go underground and, and forestall the attack. So it was a successful warning. The slightest razor thin, narrowest of margins, because I was running an election during a pandemic and I couldn't campaign. No, I'm just kidding. If you're going to force me to pick, I'm going to say no, only on the grounds that DeSantis has not conspired to overthrow the Constitution of the United States. A free election, a fair election process in Afghanistan, something they had not seen for decades and generations before. I've seen patriotism. It is important to Ukraine for two purposes. Number one, it is the strategic gateway to the Donbass. But more importantly, it is symbolically important to Ukraine in its dealings with the world. The larger issue that we're dealing with right now in this country, which is you know, the extremes on the left and the extremes on the right, really do represent a small portion of this country. A sitting president of the United States tried to steal an American presidential election. He sent a mob to attack Congress in an attempt to achieve through violence what he couldn't achieve at the ballot box. The very founder of the Baptist movement advocated for religious freedom for all. Those are the folks who are the enemies of democracy, the enemies of truth, and the enemies of American values, and we have to treat them as such. Americans take it for granted that goods and services and people move freely about the seas of this planet as if it is by magic and that no one actually makes that happen. I used to work, I, I, when, in the 2000 campaign, I worked at the RNC. So I do not give money to the RNC. I mean, the party is just totally broken. And in most states, certainly in the swing states, it's a mess and don't go near them. We'd also like to thank our fantastic partners. They are the Borg, country first.